Hey, this hole over here, it looks like it'll do the trick. So, how long do we have to stay in a creepy place like that? Huh? Krillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Boma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! favor and check the dragon radar, please? You said four of the Dragon Balls were in one spot, right? Well then, it's possible that those guys... Uh, yeah! That explains it! They have the four Dragon Balls! Yeah, that's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? Y yeah! Their power was incredible! Whoa! That small guy, he he might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Whoa, stronger than Vegeta? No way. Uh, cool, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Nemec in just six days. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some sensu beans, Goku left for planet Nemec. All right, I'm off. I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. Hey, you guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball! Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going to. Uh, wait a second! Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on, make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right! Freezer's horrible henchman. So, you think there are really some Namekian villages here? Well, if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. Go on, you know the deal, right? Yeah. No energy blasts are flying, right? That's right. We have to move undetected. We got it! How are we supposed to take on that stubby guy and his friends? I mean, come on! Yeah, what do we do? Okay, we're almost there. Uh. 
What's going on down there? They look just like Kami and Piccolo. Ah, they must be Namekians! First introductions. I am Frieza. I'm looking for the Dragon Balls. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe one of them can be found here. We, we don't have anything like that. <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours. Uh, the, that device, that must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Oh, <laughs> you know the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing? That's impossible! Well, they did require some convincing. Zabon, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. Whoa. Ha ha ha! Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. They're monsters! How terrible! What do you intend to do with the Dragon Balls? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. Uh, even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. Uh, I suppose we have no choice. But promise me one thing. Promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. Of course. Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. Now, take this and be gone. Well, I have you. Perhaps you can tell me something. Say, the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Namekians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest, I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Get out of here, Dende! No! R right! Scouters! Now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! It's not much fun killing small fries like you. But you gotta die sooner or later! That's enough! What? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on! We took them together! These guys are way out of our league! Your jets, go on!
punch it, Gohan. If he catches us, we're goners! Right! No use! They're faster than us! He's gaining! Wait, that's right! Here, go on, take the kid! Okay! Don't look directly at me! Take this! Solar Flare! Yeah! My eyes! I can't see! All right, it worked! Go on, hide! What? Oh, right! You little twerps! Where the hell you go? Uh. <sighs> We're safe! All right. We need to head back to Bulma fast. Hey, can you fly? Oh, uh, um, yes. T thank you for saving me. So, um, what's your name? I'm Dende. Hmm? One of Frieza's goons is on the move. This energy. Is that the Doria? This is perfect. I can more than handle him all by myself. Taking on Frieza now would be downright suicidal. I have to plan my next moves carefully. <laughs> Easy prey. <laughs> Vegeta! Hey there! It's been quite some time, Dodoria. I've waited for you to foolishly leave Frieza's side. Knocking you around should be easy enough without Frieza here. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? Do yourself a favor. Shut up and just hand over that scouter of yours. Do that and I'll let you live just this once. <laughs> Is that so? You went completely radio silent during your attack on the Namekian village, which can obviously mean only one thing. You've lost every single one of your scouters, haven't you? <laughs> How perfect! Now I can make my way over there unnoticed. You want this, don't you? I guess you're not as dumb as you look, Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why did you break it? You idiot! Don't you realize you're not going to be able to find the Namekians without it? I recently spent some time on a planet called Earth. Believe it or not, they don't require scouters in order to sense power. There was another Saiyan there as well, and he also knew how to use that technique. Which means an elite like myself should easily master it. That's it then, isn't it? Those little runts I was after, they were Earthlings. What are you doing, teaming up with those punks? What? Earthlings? What the hell are you talking about? There's no way Earthlings could be out here. Enough of this nonsense. Stop wasting time and come at me already! I see what's going on here. You've come to realize just how much stronger I've gotten, and now you're too afraid to fight me. You saw my power level on your scouter before, didn't you? That number wasn't accurate! My scouter was busted! What are you so afraid of? Go on, try and attack me! Who do you think you are? You're not better than me! Leave it! Got a gun! Let it all! <laughs> we Saiyans grow stronger with every battle we fight. The stronger the opponent is, the stronger we become after the fact. My near-death experience on Earth greatly increased my power. That's what it means to be a mighty Saiyan warrior. 
Prepare yourself! You to pieces! Prepare yourself! Don't you see? This is what happens when you get too cocky and slack off! If you ever resurrect, pray it's a something worthy! Got a gun! Prepare yourself! Vegeta! If you let me go, I'll let you in on a little secret. But it ain't so little. It's a big one. It's about the home of your people. It's about planet Vegeta. What? What is it? Spit it out! You've probably heard all this before. How planet Vegeta was destroyed by some huge meteor, right? But that's not the truth. What happened? is a bunch of crazy strong Saiyans like yourself started cropping up all over the place. And the more powerful they got, the more they didn't see the point in following orders from anybody. Lord Frieza lost trust in you guys, and because of that, he felt he needed to lay down the law. And oh, did he! Lord Frieza ended up not just destroying planet Vegeta, but every single Saiyan himself. But you know, Vegeta, you should be grateful. Lord Frieza saw a lot of potential in you, too much to waste. So he made sure to destroy the planet when you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a lot to take in, huh? You're wrong about that, Dodoria. I couldn't care less about my planet, my comrades, or even my parents. But... What infuriates me to no end is how I let myself be used all this time by bastards like you! Thinking about it makes me sick to my stomach! <laughs> the God Freezer! Ah! Freezer's terrified of the limitless potential of a Saiyan's power. If what I heard on the Scouter is to be believed, then all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish come true. First, I'll get my hands on the two remaining Dragon Balls. No, one should be more than sufficient. If I can hide even just one of them, Frieza and his lackeys won't be able to make their wish a reality. Then all I have to do is wait until their guard is down and steal the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> 